Now I'm going to talk about Tag Manager. I'll be covering two main uses of Tag Manager. First, I'll talk about how to use it to send dynamic configuration data to your app. For example, if your app's a game, you could offer different challenges for different levels, depending on the attack strengths the player has left. If you run a shopping app, you could use Tag Manager to change the daily discount offer. The second use of Tag Manager relates to organizing and managing tags. A tag is a fragment of code that performs some kind of tracking function. In the previous lesson, you added tags to your app to send tracking data to Google Analytics. Instead of sending data directly to Google Analytics, you can send it to Tag Manager, which can then send it on to Google Analytics. It's easy to change the way the data is reported to Google Analytics using the Tag Manager dashboard without having to change your code. And Tag Manager helps you visualize and organize your tags. You'll learn how to create tags to forward hit data from your app to Google Analytics in the next lesson. In this lesson, you'll learn how to use Tag Manager to dynamically update values in your app.